In this video, I'm going to show you some amazing prompts that you definitely need to check out in Runway's Gen 3 Video Generator. I'll show you some very impressive and some extremely weird videos that I've created using this model. I think you'll be surprised at some of the videos coming up. Okay, let's get into it. So to start off with, I just want to mention, I have left a free document down below containing the prompts that I've used in this video, plus some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Gen 3. So feel free to click the link in the description below to get that. Okay, so let's have a look at dynamic FPV prompts. These style of videos are extremely fun to create. As you can see from this video, I wanted the camera to fly out of someone's mouth and into an epic landscape, and it did a great job. It's a very weird prompt, I know. And that's why this prompt is so good. You can get very creative with it. So here's another video, and this looks so realistic as it starts off going through this seaside cave and into an icy landscape. It's just perfectly seamless. And in this one, we start off in a cozy living room, going through a fort made of quilts and through to an ancient castle. And in this one, it looks like someone's sliding down a kind of icy river through a glacial tunnel and into a tropical beach. It's amazing as it kind of creates that overexposed look when you come through the tunnel, but then the exposure changes and you can see this tropical beach. I've included this prompt as well, as I thought it worked really well, even though it's not quite like the other ones. But this one is of handheld camera footage of someone walking through a tunnel. And it has a similar effect, but just going at a slower pace. The lighting in this video looks incredibly realistic. Now let's have a look at the green screen prompt. Now this prompt is pretty special, especially if you're a video editor as here is a clip I've made of a T-Rex walking with a green background. So for the prompt, all you have to put in is green screen background in the prompt, along with the subjects that you want in the video. What's good about this is you can download it and then take it into your video editing software and use a green screen keying tool. So as you can see here, I've got the T-Rex and he's walking through a different environment that I've made. And I think it looks pretty good. And here's a couple more videos that I created. So I have some flames on a green background and a woman floating in the air meditating. This is a really cool feature, especially if you want to add certain elements into your videos. Now let's have a look at text prompts. So as you can see from this video, I used the prompt of a title screen with dynamic movement. The scene starts at a colorful paint covered wall. Suddenly black paint pours onto the wall to form the word atomic. The dripping paint is detailed and textured, centered, superb cinematic lighting. So it was quite a detailed prompt I used. And I usually put the word that I want spelt in inverted commas in the prompt, just so it knows what word to use. And I think it did a pretty good job. It looks pretty realistic. I wish the video was a bit longer because the word atomic only just shows right at the end. And here's a different example. So for this one, I used a much shorter prompt with the text atomic is in flames over an erupting volcano. It's got some awesome flame simulation going on. And here's another one, but this time with frozen writing. And it's added in a really nice cinematic camera movement to it. It's pretty impressive that it adds the reflection of the text in the water as well. And I really like this one. It's an epic title intro for the word atomic but made out of spaghetti. And I really like the way the spaghetti animates into the scene to create the word. And here's a hybrid of using a time-lapse of a flower with the words relax as it opens, and it looks incredibly realistic. I wish the X was in line with the rest of the word, but it still did a good job. And here's a video of a man holding up a sign. So it just shows you can put text on different things. Even though it didn't spell it quite right, if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Now let's have a look at Snorri Cam prompts. Now you may be wondering, what is a Snorri Cam? A Snorri Cam is where a camera is strapped to your chest and is looking directly at the person. So I went for a simple prompt of Snorri Cam footage of a man being chased through a forest. And the footage looks pretty good. It looks realistic and has that kind of natural movement to it. Now you can get quite creative with it 
I used the prompt of snorry cam footage of a man on a bike riding down a mountain in the Swiss Alps, and it looks awesome. Now this one is similar. This one looks more like a selfie camera and looks like the kind of video that you would see on social media. Apart from the weird hand at the start, I think it looks pretty realistic. For something a little bit different, I tried a prompt of snorry cam footage of a man being chased through a city by a giant marshmallow creature. It looks realistic here, but then as soon as he turns around, the man looks like he's smiling. <laughs> to be honest, I'm very impressed with the motion and just the overall feel of this video. It's a shame that the clips only go to 10 seconds as I would love to have seen how this progresses. Now let's have a look at VHS old footage style prompts. So I wanted to try recapture the Bigfoot footage and it didn't quite work out as this is the video it created. It just looks like a man in a furry jacket walking into a forest. Now the footage isn't too bad, but it wasn't quite what I was looking for. It does have that VHS old school aesthetic to it, which is pretty cool. I believe the VHS prompts give it that gritty kind of believability. I find older looking footage, you can kind of get away with it looking bad, but looking believable at the same time. And this video, I wanted a monster emerging out of the lake. You can't quite tell what's going on, but there's something weird happening. It definitely has a creepy vibe to it. And I tried it again, and this is what it created. It didn't quite match the vision I was going for, but I really like the look that it gives with the VHS style. And here's another one that looks like old footage, and it did a great job. I did put in the prompts to create a vortex of tanks, but it didn't quite do that, but it made this giant tank in the background. It did create a really cool kind of smoke simulation around it. Now let's have a look at dynamic simulation prompts. Runways Gen 3 does an incredible job at kind of creating simulations of different elements. So in this prompt, it's an undulating sphere of water that quickly warps into a cube. And the simulation of the water in the sphere and the cube look incredibly realistic. And in this one, it simulates fire in a really natural way. If I saw this on social media, I would not be able to tell it was done by an AI video generator. And this one is incredible. It's a ball of flame that warps into a ball of ice. And as you can see, the transition from the flames to the ice is really awesome. It's clever as it adds that kind of dry ice smoke to then freeze the ball of flames. All of the elements from the fire and the ice are rendered in a really high quality. And here's a couple more showcasing the simulations. So, so we have some paint warping in an art studio and some lava flowing down a city street. Now let's have a look at nature prompts. Runaway does an incredible job when prompting with animals and nature. This shot here is very impressive with the cinematic lighting coming through and the natural movement of the creature as well. And again with this iguana on a tree. And it's created some really lifelike walking motion to this parrot here. And this beautiful slow motion footage of a snow leopard. And it does a great job at landscape drone shots. There are loads more creative prompts you can use in Runways Gen 3. I'll just quickly play a few more now that I think are definitely worth trying.
Don't forget to grab the free PDF down below, which contains all of the prompts from this video. Plus tips and tricks with camera movement, lighting, and more. So we've reached the end of this video, and I hope you can see how creative you can get using this Gen 3 video generator. It's definitely come a long way over the past year and is only going to get better. Feel free to drop a comment down below if you have any prompts that you've used and you want to share with the community. We would really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. To check out one of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.